and welcome to my American Idol review and recap of last night's episode. The guys in Hollywood Weeks are in the solo round. So, first up, we had Paul Jolie, and he sang Blown Away by Carrie Underwood. Um, I'm looking at my phone, by the way, so if I'm looking down, sorry. <laughs> I don't really have it up on the, on the screen on the computer, but my computer is... My laptop's literally a piece of crap. Like, I did, like, a... A thing to like make it go faster and just made it slower so I really don't <laughs> I don't know what to do I really don't want to bring it in but I'm going to have to I've been using my dad's laptop because his is so much faster than mine I think it's because I download too much music like honestly I think that's the problem can your computer get really slow by downloading too much music like I don't know like I I, I do iTunes and then I also do um, off YouTube I download like off YouTube. I don't know if that means anything, but <clears throat> anyways, Paul Jolie singing "Blown Away." Um, yeah, he was really nervous and he was sh at the beginning, but when he sang, it was actually pretty good and it was a cool rendition of the song. I love "Blown Away." It's one of my favorite Carrie Underwood songs, one of her best in my opinion. And the music video—if oh, you haven't seen the music video for "Blown Away," you must see it. It's like it's like Wizard of Oz kind of tornado-ish kind of thing. It was cool. So I liked him, and he makes it through. Then we had Lazaro, and he's saying Edge of Glory. Um, I think this is definitely the best that I've seen of him. Um, if you've been watching my reviews, you know that I'm not the biggest Lazaro fan. But I think that this was definitely his best. And if he keeps improving, I might actually become a fan. So good job, Lazaro. He makes it through. Then we have Curtis Finch Jr. singing Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry. I kind of liked how he didn't like go over the top with it. Like this song, you could really just like, ooh, let it all out. But he kind of kept it more simple, and I kind of like that. Um, good. And he's not my favorite just because I don't like his attitude. But um, that might change. Who knows? That might change. So, uh, yeah, he makes it through. Uh, then we have Devin Vells singing. How was that? Hold on. That's weird. Okay, anyways. Devin Vells singing It's a Wonderful World. Uh, um... I don't remember. Oh, I remember him. He was, we never seen him yet. Um, he was, uh, he had like blonde hair and yeah, it was good. Yeah. Then we had, um, Gupreet singing Georgia. Um, I didn't really like this too much. It was good. It was like an average performance, you know? It wasn't like, whoa, amazing. So I think, I think he's like a fan favorite just cause he's, he's, you know, he's quirky and different, but vocally, he's nothing special. So, we'll see how far that takes him. Then we have Nathalus, Nath, Matthias Fernandez singing Stronger by Kelly Clarkson. And, yeah, this was a train wreck. I feel bad for him because, you know, I liked him and he had some good moments. His audition and his group round performance we're pretty gosh darn amazing. Um, he says he's never performed with a live band, so, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much time they got to practice. I'm assuming they got to practice with a band, so I don't see what the problem was. I don't know, but, um, I don't know. I liked him, and it sucks because he's good, but, uh, this was just a pretty Bad performance. Um, he was on the Glee project, though. I didn't like I said, and I uh, did he not perform? I know they do lip syncing. You know, like they record in the studio and then they do the music video. But then when they do sing for your life, don't they sing with a band? Is that lip syncing too? I'm not really sure. <laughs> so yeah. Um. I guess I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> oh, and Nicki Minaj, she, uh, she, sorry, she said that, like, she does, she 
doesn't want him to use his height as a like like a thing to make people feel sorry for him and that's so true but I don't I think half of it's his problem I think he's using it but then also it's also the editing team I mean they they hype up on that you know uh, the whole oh he's short and he can sing woo so it's half his fault half the editing team and good job for Nicki Minaj for uh, bringing it out <laughs> So yeah, Adam Sanders, who we didn't get to sing, makes it through. Um, Cortez Shaw makes it through. Devin, whatever the hell his name, makes it through. And Groupie makes it through. And then Matthias is eliminated. Cortez Shaw, they showed a little bit of him singing. He was good. Um, uh, yeah, good. Then we have Nicholas Matthias singing Locked Out of Heaven by Bruno Mars. I love this song. Mm. I love the song Bruno Mars. I love him. He's so good. But yeah, um, besides that, this was not that great. Um, you could tell he was trying, and he really was. But um, his pitch was a little under, I felt like. So, he gets cut. Then we have Jimmy Smith, and he's saying landslide. He is okay. He's okay. He's not like amazing but he he has a good average voice so we'll see how far that takes him he makes it through and then we have Papa Peaches singing you and I and yeah this was not good at all um you know I feel like he has the voice he just needs the right songs the song does not fit his voice and the song that he sang in the group round does not fit his voice the only song that he really actually sounded good in was one of his original songs and you know I didn't really like his original song but it worked with his voice so I guess he's kinda right you know this show he's not good at you know doing covers and what I suggest to him is maybe do a YouTube you know get your original music out there start a YouTube channel you know go independently you know try and get some tracks up on iTunes because he does have a you know, a low baritone kind of voice, and you know, this song, it didn't show that off at all, you and I, and like I said, man, if he would have sang Old Man River, I doubt that that song was on the list of songs that they can sing, but if he would have sang Old Man River, he would have been golden. If you don't know Old Man River, just go type in Old Man River, you'll see what I mean. It's like the classic like bass baritone kind of song for any guy to sing and if you can sing it well you sound flawless so great song great old classic song and you know I think that if you would have sang that he would have been good but um <laughs> I doubt it was on the list so yeah Papa Peaches he's cut then we have Nick Boddington and he sings stars oh I love him. We haven't seen too much of him. Um, he was on last season. He was in Groove Sauce, if you remember, with Jen Hurst, uh, Creighton Fraker, Aaron Vasellis, and, and uh, Reed Grimm. And they had a really stellar performance, group performance. They, they showed his group performance this year, and he was okay. But, oh, I love this. And this isn't a very popular song. I remember Amanda Brown on The Voice saying this song. That's kind of how where I know it from. But, um... Oh, he's like, he has like this pretty tone and it's like, I don't know. I don't, it's just pretty and his eyes. Oh my God. I love his eyes. They're like, his face is just like, it's like a baby face. It's like a baby face on an adult and it's just, it's so pretty. I love him. Um, I hope he does good. I, I think, you know, he hasn't been shown too much, but I think from this performance, I think he gained a lot of fans. Because me, I was familiar with him, and I was like, oh yeah, Nick Boddington, I remember him. Um, but with this performance, made me a fan, and I'm rooting for him, and oh, I hope he makes it to the live rounds, because oh, I loved it. Oh my god, and then we had Charlie Askew saying, somebody that I used to know. Oh, little Charlie. I absolutely love him. You know, from his audition, I was kind of like, oh, yeah, he has an okay voice. But, man, this performance was, like, really, really good. It was, like, one of the best performances that we saw um, tonight. Um, I absolutely loved it. And I loved how, like, when he went out, he was, like, 
he like had like a little introduction. He was like, this is about a girl who we used to date and a few months ago it ended and I just want don't want her to be somebody that I used to know. And you know, he I love he's a storyteller. That's awesome because you know in the real world like when musicians go out there, a lot of times they'll tell they'll maybe like do like a little story, you know, before they start singing or you know you know like I saw Kelly Clarkson in concert and before she's like you know in between sets or in between songs you know she'll she'll you know she'll talk to the audience a little bit and you know you need that you need that intimacy and he had that intimacy and oh it was great and that's kind of like where like you know Nicki Minaj was talking about you know he's an artist you know he came out there and he like told his story and just did what he does and just did it flawlessly and he definitely is. He's an artist, and I hope to see more great things from him because he has surprised me beyond belief. Back in the audition rounds, I would not think that he would be doing this well. So, props to you, Charlie. I very much enjoyed it. So, yeah, he makes it through. And then also, JDA, who is that drag queen, she's on. You know, from what we've seen of, of him... Or her, I don't know what they want me to call. Is he is he like officially a drag queen or is he just likes to dress up like that? I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know. We don't we don't know. They don't say anything. But all we know is he likes to dress like a girl, but we don't know if he's actually transgender or anything. I don't know. So <laughs> I'll just call him he since I don't know yet. <laughs> we haven't really um seen too much of him. He we saw him sing in the group round, and when I saw the group round, he does have a good voice. Um I just don't know how well he's going to go across with the audience. So we'll see how far he goes. And then also Matheny Treko, who uh, we saw his group round performance. I think, did we see his audition? I don't remember. But from what I know from what we've seen, he was good. So yeah, I like that. Then we had a montage of Bornell Taylor and Marvin Calderon singing Jar of Hearts. La 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 la. <clears throat> Then lastly, we had Micah Johnson singing, I Told You So. Um, this was, um, this was good, but, um, it, it was, it was a little boring, and I think that's why the judges cut him, so, oh well. Also leaving that we didn't see perform, so we don't really know why they are leaving. We don't know if, we don't know if they did bad, or if they just were boring, it was Gabe Brown, which, you know, I liked him, but I didn't. He wasn't my favorite. Um, Sandy, the kid, the black Justin Bieber, <laughs> um, and Nate Tao. No, I love Nate Tao. Oh well. And uh, yeah, so that was it. And then they they had the top twenty eight guys that who survived, and they said that the judges still need to cut eight more guys. So I don't think that they're going to be singing again. But I'm assuming that the judges are just going to sit down, discuss more and cut eight of those guys out of there, which, oh well, <laughs> sucks. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope that this video didn't suck, and yeah, thank you.